Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger and uh, today uh, I'm going to go over the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. So I've been carrying this knife uh, maybe, I don't know, two weeks. I've had it longer than that but I, I got so many knives I, and uh, I just started carrying uh, this and a couple other knives. I, I always uh, carry maybe maybe three knives. Uh, two in the pocket and one in the bag. One in my carry bag. So, anyway, like I said, this is an Artisan Ahab by, uh, or Artisan Cutlery Ahab by, you know, Artisan Cutlery Knives. Your favorite uh, weird, weird, weird symbol, weird logo. Anyway, so uh, I was inspired by Manus Faction to pick this one up. I, I saw his, I'm like, oh man, that's that's a, 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 that's a fabulous knife. Yeah, let's. Anyway, this is a this is a design was inspired by the um, book Moby Dick, hence Ahab, Captain Ahab. So when I'm being silly, uh, I, I often call this knife the whale or the white whale. And I call that so much, I forget the name. Designed by Nick Rogers. I honestly, I should have researched what knives he's designed. Um, if I do a little research on the, the editing of this video, I'll put it down there on the top or the bottom of the screen. and give you a, an idea of a couple of knives he designed if I, I can find anything so I don't know if this is his first design but uh, it's a really really interesting design you can see it's a well you probably can't see my lighting's pretty weird I'm having problems with my lights but you can see it's a sand polished harpoon blade I don't know if you can see it it's like a almost a hand rub but it's i look it up it's sand polished so this is the ar rp m9 steel that they uh, developed and they use it on their uh, budget knives occasionally so i don't have too many uh, artisan knives and i don't have too many uh designed by that steel you can see the artist's signature on the top in k for nick rogers you can see the steel it has a serial number too anyway this is a flat grind it's a titanium backspacer and clip and let's double check that yep and it's kind of hard to check the titanium with it being uh, uh, not disassembled. But, but you just got to trust me. It's a titanium backspacer and clip. So that's pretty, that's pretty nifty uh, on a budget knife. I don't remember how this much this costs. I, I would say uh, maybe $60, $70 range. Maybe. I picked it up up at white mountain knives obviously is my uh i support white mountain knives so and it features a uh, wood scales with some fishbone liners and i'm going to give you um, i'm going to disassemble like partially disassemble this i'm going to take the scales off so you can get a look at this uh fishbone scales so it it has a hidden pivot so if you want to adjust a pivot, you have to take the scales off. Quick look at the Ahab by showing you what's under the, the scales. Showing you the pivot and basically getting a look at this liners. Um, I'm going only going to take one side off. So there's the nested uh scales you can see the the hot their hollow well slightly hollow out hollowed out um 
you can see the pivot fits in here the hole very lightweight scales or I don't know what kind of wood this is but it looks nice I couldn't I looked it up and I couldn't see it so you can see there's a I, I would call I would call it fishbone liners they're very lightweight because they they did that on the other side I don't know if I can show you on the uh, on the other side it is it's the same and the back but it's since it's a liner lock it does, is isn't hollow on the other side but basically it's hollow on the exact same size you can see the wood through there so it's not all the way hollow there's a, a little bit of steel in the this last uh, rib cage I would call this the rib cage but the knife still works perfectly with the scales off if you you really want to make it lightweight you could just t remove the scales altogether and just carry it uh, with without the wood I don't know how that would be <laughs> it would be interesting anyway so again this is a a budget considered a budget knife with uh, a nice milled uh, pocket clip titanium milled pocket clip pocket clip and you can see there this it's a titanium uh, backspacer with a hidden lanyard uh, feature so that's pretty cool for everybody that likes hidden lanyards like me <laughs> or lanyards not necessarily hidden lanyards but lanyards so you could see the lock up on this it's maybe 45 50 percent Eh, maybe 45 40 45 percent has a little bit jimping on the bottom for your finger when you you choke up on it maybe so your your finger doesn't travel to the blade and pretty cool I, I, I really like the knife and you can see it's perfectly centered in there it's a great knife. I I, I believe uh, believe Art, Artisan did did a great job on this design a method. Has thumb studs in both sides. The thumb studs kind of remind me of I don't know, kind of remind me of a, a wood post or something to do with sailing. You know, like you uh, I believe that sailors used to tie um ropes off the sails off on um these posts uh, attached to the side of the the railings of the boat so there's no jimping but there's enough cut out um on the the liner it's easy to disengage so uh, it's a ceramic bearings you can uh attach a hidden lanyard and i don't normally like hidden lanyards but I don't like like hidden lanyards or if if they're along the spine and they're not at the end. So some people do a hidden lanyards about there, and I I hate that. So at least this is a hidden lanyard at the end of it. So I, I I'm probably going to give it a lanyard. I don't know what I was looking for whale tails. Oh man, I, I should do a whale tail lanyard. But I couldn't find anything that w looked cool. It, it, they looked silly. I looked for some whale beads and I couldn't find any of those either. So I'll have to keep looking. So this is a great knife. I uh, I can spotty flick it. Oh. And I can thumb stud flick it. Now let's, let's try to reverse thumb uh, spotty flick it. <laughs> yep. It's a pretty lightweight knife. I'll probably give you a weight. I'm not going to give you a whole host of uh, measurements, but I, I'll give you a weight and um, I'll give you some knife comparisons. Okay, let's uh, let's give you a weight on this bad boy. Three ounces, basically 3.03 .03 ounces. Let's uh, let's give you a, a grams, 86 grams. So. It's very lightweight.
for a a, a large knife this is a this is a large knife you can see uh, I can get all four fingers on this so first I'm going to compare the knife size to the, the standard bug out you can see I have a bug out Benjamin bug out Oop. so it's bigger than the Benjamin bug out let me adjust the angle okay you can see it's bigger than the Benjamin bug out it's about, about a quarter of an inch and like if you take the tip up it's like more than a half an inch um, bigger than the Benchmade bug out and let's give you let's uh, give you a small knife to look at it or compare it this is the patchy button lock you can see compared to a small knife and by small I mean almost a uh, almost a three and a half inch handle finger handle for me and <clears throat> let's give you a, a large knife <laughs> this is a, a a dagger knife and it's a dagger parrot I believe I think it's called the dagger parrot so you can see how it compares to the dagger parrot so I mean that's a extraordinary large knife this is a five inch blade and maybe six inch handle thanks for uh checking me out and i'll see you on the other side take care